Yo, what's good, Machine Masters? This your man, DB the producer, coming at you with some tips and tricks for machine. Um, this first series is going to be machine shortcuts. I love shortcuts and all the dolls. It makes your production uh, experience a little faster when you can move around uh, within the program quicker. Um, so getting right into it. Um, just a couple of shortcut keys that I ended up just a couple of shortcut keys that I found out while messing around the machine um, you won't see it in the machine this is strictly for uh, the DAW and the uh, keyboard for the computer so first shortcut key when you click W it brings open your piano roll so W and that's on any sound that you're on um, it brings up your piano roll now while in piano roll or in the sequencer uh, page you can hit uh, E for the pencil tool. The pencil tool allows you just to draw in your different MIDI information. And then if I go back into the piano roll, as you can see, I can do the same here. I mean, I can make it as long as I want. Uh, I mean, as many as I want. Say if I'm doing hi-hats and I don't have a machine with me, I mean, I can easily do that. If you change the grid, you can go ahead and you know do your thing all right next shortcut key is the sampler mode with the sampler mode if i hit s it brings me into the sampler mode nothing real fancy um it just somewhat to get you uh, let me go to here sampler mode it just gets you to get to your sampler mode a little quicker um sometimes i don't like clicking the mouse as much so i try not to click it as much i do have the machine studio um but i find this a little easy and a little quicker i can just hit s i'm in i'm out you hit w i'm in piano roll and it's just a lot less clicking um so that's your um sampler edit mode um uh, another shortcut key is m m brings up your metronome right up here so m is for your metronome um next shortcut key l l is your loop that is your loop now, one of the other things that I was kind of excited about is that if I'm here in my, I guess, sampler instrument uh, section right here, if I hold, I mean, not hold, but if I press up or down, I can move within any of, let's just, I'm going to pull up just some random, uh, just some random effects, nothing too big, nothing too crazy. But yeah, it allows me to move within uh, my effects. I can move quickly. I mean, like I say, there's a lot less clicking. Um, and it gets me to where I need to go a little faster. Not only that, if I click left or right, it brings me into my channel section. So this is my plugin section. This is my channel section. And within there, if I press up or down, I can move within input, output, groove, and macro. Now, I haven't found a way to actually manipulate the parameters, but if I hold shift and press left or right, I can move within my different pages within whatever uh, effect that I'm in. So just to show you that, again, I'm going to click uh, left. I'm back in my effects page. If I click up and down, I'm in there. And just like this one, if I hold shift, I can get to my different pages a little quicker. All right, that is for that section. Now, last but not least, I don't I don't like that you have to actually click where you want to manipulate. But if I click here, right, and now I'm in my uh, scenes view. Well, not it. It's groups, all my groups view. Um, one thing that I've noticed is that I can go in. And pressing left and right, I can move between the groups. Just pressing left and right. But then, while in the group, say I have all my scenes up, right? And this is my intro. I can press up or down and put in what patterns I want with what. You know what I'm saying? Quickly. While I already got the track mapped out. Or not mapped out. 
I have the track already completed as far as all my instruments and effects and all that stuff in there. Now I can arrange them quickly. I can arrange them quickly. And I'm going to try something real quick and see if I can move between scenes. Nope, doesn't allow me to move between the scenes. All right. So uh, that is pretty much um, it with the shortcut keys right here in this section. Now, to get from here to my mixer section, I can hit tab. If I hit tab on my keyboard, I can get into my mixer. Now, one of the things I like about this is, is that it, while I'm in my mixer view, if I hit up or down, well, yeah, if I hit up or down, it allows me to get into each group and manipulate each individual sound. Now, once again, I did say I like linear DOS. So most of my sounds or most of my instruments, I have one sound within these 16 pads. But like in my drums, I got all my drums in there individually. I can go in and click on whatever drum that I want. So just want to show you guys that. Um, last but not least, uh, if you click F4, it'll close my browser. So let's say if I need a little bit more room to mess around with some things, I can close my browser and go into here. I mean, just give me a little bit more room. Pretty cool. Then last but not least, I know I keep saying last but not least. I mean, I got like three more. <laughs> um, If I click, so if, if you got a keyboard that has a numeric keypad, um, there's an asterisk at the top. Uh, right to your keyboard is right above the minus sign um, if I hit that asterisk what it does is it gives me my record and also enables my uh, metronome so I'm able to do things like that with just the asterisk or um, if you hold well not if you hold shift 8 but the asterisk looks like the uh, symbol right above the 8 on the numeric keypad that's an asterisk so if I click asterisk, guess what? That's what happens. My record and metronome. All right. Now, for my ideas mode and my scenes mode or uh, ideas, ideas mode and song mode, if I hold command and I press 1, that puts, or matter of fact, while I'm in the scene, let me get her. If I press 1, that brings me to ideas mode. So command and 1 brings me to my ideas mode. Command and 2 brings me into my song mode. And within her, I can, well, I'm holding shift. I don't need to hold shift, but I can maneuver through all my sounds that way. So, command one, ideas mode, and command two, songs mode. So, that pretty much includes my tips and tricks for machine shortcuts, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to give y'all a little something to make you move a little fast in machine. I know it can be hard to produce, but hey, that's why we producers. We learn the dolls that we want to uh, create in, and we become masters of it. All right. Until then, man, I'm out. Can you turn that down, please?